Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. This is Muhannad Mustafa, Kibir International Schools. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can download the SharePoint design software for the ICT Paper 3 Web Authoring section, which is the software now required here in Egypt for the students sitting for October, November, or for next year. Okay? So the step of downloading and installing software is very simple. First of all, let's go into the browser, go into Google, and then once you go there, you can start searching for SharePoint, and then it will give you a couple of options. For example, SharePoint Designer 2007 download, and then it will give you a couple of sites where you can download this software from. Now, seeing it is a trusted one, so I just, I'm just going to do this. Click here. And don't worry, I'm going to share this link with you in the description of the video, so you don't need to search for it manually. You'll just click on this link whenever you find it in the description of my video, and then it will take you here. You just click download, and then it will start downloading this section. And you can see here, sharepointdesign.exe, which is the file that you need to install in your computer. Now, if you look, it's 296 megabyte, and it will depend on your internet connection. It might take one minute or it might take more than one minute. Let's assume that we've just downloaded because I already have it here. So I'll just assume that I downloaded the software and I have it here um, in my downloads folder. So as you can see here, it's a SharePoint design. This is the file. I'll just double click on the file and it will ask me to start installing the file. You can see, I will get this small window. You can customize, but I just prefer to say this install and that's it. And it will take time to install it. Okay, so I'm just going to pause the video and come back again whenever it's almost finished. Okay, after it's, um, it's downloaded, almost there. Okay, now it's um, finishing the installation. And by the way, the installation will take three to four minutes. I just paused the video a couple of times waiting for it to finish installing it takes a time takes time and uh, remember this is 2007 you can download 2010 2013 as well um, but most of the time whenever you download a newer version you need to use microsoft 365 i'm using microsoft 2021 here okay so sometimes you might need a subscription from the microsoft um, 365 if you'd like to download the very new version of this software so i'm just going to show you how this one works and then um so now it's downloaded so i'll just go and search for it sharepoint as you can see here whenever i search i will find my app which is microsoft office sharepoint design uh, 2007 so i'll just click and open the app and as you can see it looks familiar um, especially um, for those who are working with um, front page, it looks familiar. Um, even Web Expression 4, as you can see, uh, we have almost the same layout here. So what you need to do first of all, of course, to start working with this software is to specify what folder this are you working from. And if I go here to my desktop, I'll just show you that I have a paper here, which is um, S1631 here. So I can, I can, for example, start solving this paper. This is a question paper and these are the files. But before I start solving the paper, of course, I need to make sure that the application recognizes this folder as my site folder, okay? So I'm just going here. Here we go. Here, and then I'm just going to say, open a site, go to my desktop and point to this folder. Okay, which is this one. Go inside the folder, make sure that the last folder is there. Hit open, and as you can see now, I have all the files that I might need in the future to work with for solving um, this paper. Okay, 
So this is just a quick video of showing you now um, the software itself, how you can download it from the internet, how you can install it in your computer, and how you can even prepare a paper um, to solve using it um, immediately if you'd like to do so. Um, before you go, even though I think these are the information that you need, but before you go, whenever you are downloading such applications such as this SharePoint Designer application, your computer might require files that are not ready. For example, you might install it and start installing the application, but your computer might reject it and say that I need another application to be installed in the computer before this one, and this is the application that you need. Your computer has to have this application, this is small application, or this is small framework um, installed, okay, in your computer to be more precise. The .NET, and I will keep a link for this application as well in the video description so that you know that if you'd like to make sure that you have this .NET Framework 3.5 service pack, you can download it from here. Once you do this, once you do download it, you can run it first, install it first. Once it's finished, you can go back again into the share folder and install the other application. Okay? So you might need it, you might not need it. And I'll put both of them in the video description below. Um, you can start by just downloading the SharePoint, installing it, and if it works immediately, um, then you are fine to move on. If your computer say that no, the computer required this other application, you will find it in the link below as well. So you can just come here and download it first, and then go back again and download the SharePoint, okay? I hope this has been informative for you and I'd like you um, to try it yourself and check my channel as well if you'd like to see other videos about the ICT, you'll find a couple of chapters uploaded there, okay? Thank you very much, I hope to see you soon.